so I brought my dog out to use the bathroom. It's been raining off and on today. Of course, I need to mow again. I hate mowing the yard. Hate it. So anyway, this is a this is a creek that runs behind my house, and uh, it usually stays. You can't hardly see it, but there's water in it. When it rains really bad, the water level comes up and it runs really, really hard that direction. It winds up in a, a pond way over there by the turnpike. But I thought I would show that we have all kinds of stuff out here growing that is edible. So there's all kinds of blackberry bushes here. I have a couple of mulberry trees here. And you can see some of the mulberries here that aren't ripe yet a couple that's getting there so when you look on the ground everywhere right here these are wild strawberries this whole yard is littered with wild strawberries everywhere you look this is something that my mom prepares that I absolutely love this is called poke and I've got a few that grow up through here. There's a little one there, there's a bigger one there. I also have, of course I mowed the yard and mowed over them, but I have wild onions that really grow right through here. And sometimes I mow around them, but I'd already pulled a bunch of them up. But I have wild onions and I have wild garlic back here. So there's uh, quite a bit of stuff that's edible back here. Pretty interesting. I do use the garlic, I do use the onions, and we do cook the poke. Uh, the strawberries are very, very cottony. They are not very good, so I'm not a big fan of them. I don't eat mulberries either. I've tried them, but it's just not my thing. Uh, the blackberries, every once in a while, I will come out and pull a couple off, like if I got her out, and I'll eat them just straight off the, off the plant. But. I thought it was kind of interesting to show that. Look at those patch of strawberries through here. Look how large some of these are getting. I'll go ahead and try to eat it. Oh my, that one was fantastic, actually. When I tried them last year, they were cottony. Oh my, those are good. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die tonight. Okay, so today is Friday, May 20th, 2022. It's getting close to lunchtime. So I've got a good start on the truck already here. So I got a lot of stuff taken off of it already. I have found quite a bit of little issues here. So <laughs> uh, the harmonic balancer bolt is gone the one in the center is gone the uh, three short bolts that go in the perimeter of the crank pulley uh, one of those was halfway out and another one was loose uh, the other one was kind of tight but not really like I didn't have to put much attention on it to get it off so it makes me wonder if that was the possibly a clack or rattle or something I mean hell who knows looks like the intake manifold's been leaking uh, the Water neck was seeping a little bit. I, every once in a while I'd smell antifreeze, but I never could find a leak. Like it wasn't anything under here or anything that I could notice. Um, the upper radiator hose is super soft and I'm a little sketched out on it. It's like, it would probably be okay to reuse, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one on it. Now this bottom one is super crunchy. It's hard, so. I'm going to go ahead and replace both hoses. I did put a new thermostat in it back when I first got the truck. It still looks brand new, so I'm going to go ahead and reuse that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a water pump on it. What I'm noticing on this thing is this freeze plug is corroded green, so that's a brass freeze plug. Uh, that is not stock, so I am kind of curious about this engine now. but. What else? Oh, the uh, this thing, somebody had put a, 
a very large transmission cooler on here at one time if you can see that back there it's from there to there and it just has worm clamps on rubber hose they do have it in conjunction with the radiator cooler for the transmission and uh, you can see where they've got it the other hose on here these are very very hard and it looks like this one's been leaking going into the radiator and looking at this they went through a hole in the core support down here but there's no rubber grommet on that so right now i think uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and pull the grill and i'm going to go ahead and replace these hoses and i'm going to put a rubber grommet in there um, i may end up drilling two new holes and putting rubber grommets in it i just don't know yet but I think that's what I'm gonna do. I do wanna pull the radiator out of the truck. Uh, it is very, very filthy with bugs and all kinds of crap on one side. That's a replacement radiator somebody's put in there before. So I do wanna pull this out. I wanna flush it out. I wanna wash it, you know, with the hose. Uh, try to get all the crap off of the remnants of an old dirt dauber nest down there. But I think I'll pull the condenser out and I'm gonna flush it out as well. Try to get some of that old oil out of there. Um, and I may go ahead and put a new high pressure power steering hose on it. I replaced the low pressure side with power steering hose before because it was leaking up here. Uh, but I haven't replaced this yet. Basically what I'm doing is since I'm in here, I want to just do a little preventative maintenance basically. But so I cleaned the uh, studs on the exhaust manifold yesterday with a wire wheel, or a wire brush, I mean. And then I hosed them with PB Blaster yesterday, so they've been soaking all day. So hopefully those studs don't break off in that manifold. That'll be a bad day. It looks like it already has a bolt broke off, or it's fell out. I'm sure it's probably broke off right here on the manifold. There's one gone. So... Yep, yeah, it's... Uh, the, the front of the oil pan uh, at the timing cover is very, very wet, so it's been seeping there as well. Uh, I may go ahead and tear this engine apart and check it out. It, uh, if that crank ain't too bad, I mean, I don't know, but that uh, pulley and stuff, lower pulley on the crank was definitely loose, so that could have been a, a knock sound that I've been hearing for a long time, but... I'm going to have to find a balancer bolt in that big thick washer. I'm pretty sure I've got some in there, but that's kind of crazy. So my father-in-law had told me back when I bought this truck from him before he passed away that this engine's been overhauled. And to me, it really never looked like it had been out of the truck to me, but maybe it has because, you know, brass freeze plugs just aren't, aren't stock. But I don't know what it's got in the side of the block yet. I haven't been under it to... Well, I haven't... I've been under the truck spraying the studs down on the manifolds, but I didn't look at the freeze plugs or nothing, but... So I'm going to check... Check that over. I mean, this thing definitely smokes and uh, uses oil, so... It, it could be valve guides or something. I mean, who knows? I took the wire off the oil pressure sending unit, which is down there. And it had one little tiny sliver of wire left uh, out of the, the little plug-in. Uh, the insulator was pretty much all broken, and the, there was one little sliver of wire left, so I need to put a new spade on that. Uh, that thing may not have been reading right because of that. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll know more when I get it out. That's where it's at right now, guys. Just uh, taking stuff apart and basically going over everything and seeing exactly what all it needs or you know needs to be replaced i checked all the vacuum lines and all that stuff because i mean if i'm in here and this thing's coming out i want to make sure everything's replaced that looks like it's not going to last or looks like it's on its last leg it's going to be a fairly expensive uh, freshen up deal but uh, you know it looks like it needs it it's been a good truck it really has i mean it's had issues here and there but Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Well, it's now Monday. <laughs> Haven't really got to do much because of the rain. 
and it's supposed to rain all week I guess Friday it's not supposed to so <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen start a pro outside project and I always end up with waiting on the weather seems like so I ended up uh, the last day I worked on this the uh, ratchet slipped on an old rusty bolt when it finally broke loose got my thumb took it to the bone probably needed stitches but I didn't go I just super glued it band-aided it up I've been cleaning it every day and changing the bandage on it but it'll end up being okay I can still bend it a little bit and in other words I'll live so I got the grill out of it because uh, I got to change out these hoses with some transmission cooler hose this is dry rotted as hell that one's been leaking so I'm gonna end up putting some plastic loom on these on the new to go through there or I'll drill two new holes down here and put some rubber grommets for each hose on I haven't decided yet so I've been shopping around on Rock Auto and Summit for parts for the you know the engine gasket set and all kinds of stuff and water pump and all that Rock Auto looked like it was going to be a hell of a good deal. Some of the parts were way cheaper, but they really got me on uh, shipping. So by the time you added it up, it wasn't uh, worth it. It was better to get it at Summit because once you're over 100 bucks, you get free shipping. So it actually saved me just a little bit of money, but not as much as Rock Auto made it look like. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so anyway, I, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do... Since I found that balancer, or the uh, crank pulley was loose, the center bolt and big washer was gone. One bolt was probably close to halfway out, the other one was a little ways out, and then the other one was barely even tight. That might have been a good knock in the engine, I don't know. There was only one wire sliver of wire left on the oil pressure sending unit, so that could have been an issue. I don't know, I'm just going to have to put a new spade on it and stuff, but... I did go through all my small block stuff and I found the harmonic balancer bolt with the big washer and all that. I've decided when I pull this engine out, I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart and just kind of check it out because it has brass freeze plug in it, which is the only one I've really looked over the engine on so far. But it makes me feel like this engine maybe it has been gone into. So I'm, I'm kind of curious about it. I want to tear it apart and just see. Cause I'd really like to keep the original engine in the truck, you know what I mean? Just me. But I got a lot of stuff disconnected. I've got, uh, there's really not a whole lot. I even have some of the transmission stuff undone. Transmission rubber mount had a, was cracked or split, you know, so it needs a new transmission mount too, I believe. When I get it off, I'll get a better look at it. But, you know, I got the radiator all cleaned, cleaned out. It had a lot of like debris from going through the AC condenser into it. It had a lot of debris in it, and it, I flushed it out, got it cleaned out pretty good. I'm still going to pull the condenser out and flush it because when I put the new AC components on, I'm going to put all new O-rings on everything anyway. <clears throat> and I guess that is about it. Just stuck, stuck with the, uh, the weather. It's a little bit chilly, too. So, kind of sucks. There's my glasses I lost. Go ahead and take them in the house. So it's kind of funny on Rock Auto for brand new Gates radiator hoses. Uh, they were like 10 bucks a piece and O'Reilly was, was $28 a piece. Uh, but by the time the shipping come up at Rock Auto, it, it wasn't worth it. So, shop around to try to save a buck or two, you know what I mean? So, and I need plugs and oil and a filter and all kinds of good stuff probably a cap and a rotor i think i put all that stuff on before so i may not need it but anyway if i ever get some good weather i'll continue on out here but so far there's just not much to report thanks for watching